All right, now we are going to look at a student's view of Compass. When you log into a district computer, you will often see this landing page. And you can always go to Compass by clicking on the rocket. If you don't see this, you can go to your favorites, and under educational software, you'll find Compass Learning. If you're trying to get to Compass from home, you can't Google it. It won't let you go to our district Compass Learning site. So let's go right here. You can get to Compass from home. You just have to put in the exact URL up here. And you can ask your teacher for that. They can give you that also. So when you log in, you're going to use the last six digits of your ID number, which is basically your lunch number. And your password are your initials and the year you're born. Make sure you keep Odyssey as your school. Okay, now we're in Compass. And you can see the different icons for curriculum areas you have. So language, Arts, and Math. I see that when it has a gold ring and assignments, I have an assignment. So you can click on here. And these are NWEA, NWEA assignments. I can tell that because it says the writ range and then the strand. So this one is informational text, foundational skills, and vocabulary. I'm going to click on the one um, that, my, that your teacher suggests, so informational text and then open the learning path. This is a very short one. Some are much longer. Um, after you complete an activity, you get a green check mark just like this. And the arrow will show you you have to go in order. So this would be the next activity that I would click on. I see that it has this question mark with an arrow. What that means is it's a scored learning activity. So there may, there's probably about five questions. If you get below 70%, it's going to have you do the activity again and then take the scored activity again before moving on. Okay. Now when I'm ready to go back to my launch pad or the home, I click over here and I go home. Let's click on the math. Again, math, I see I have five learning paths. I'll click on um, operations and algebraic thinking. The math often has an activity and then a quiz. So some of these are quizzes. And I am ready for the next activity right here. I'm going to click on it to open. If I started it before, I, I can click continue. So it will save, not exactly, but um, approximately where I left off. I'm going to click continue. Hey, Rita, here's something to blow your mind. When you multiply a number by 10, or a multiple of 10, there's always a zero at the end of the product. I know, JT. Remember that t-shirt I have that says, when you multiply times 10, put a zero on the end? Oh, yeah. But why is there always a zero there? I must know. But why don't we get started with a question? You know, to warm up the old noggin. So, what is the product of 6 times 10? Okay, so usually it starts out with a short cartoon. You notice you can't fast forward. You do want to listen to it. Um, and then once in a while, it will give you an activity to do, um, or a, it will come to a question. See this little um, triangle the, in the um, red circle? If you want to hear the question again, just press that. So, um, and it will move you through the activity with questions, instruction, some activities for you to do. Now, if your time is up with Compass, to get out of this activity, I'm going to go back to the launch pad, okay? And I'll click here, and we're back to the launch pad. What you really want to do is before, the, before you log out, check your progress. If you click on your backpack or your part, portfolio, 
you can see what you did. Okay, in your backpack you can look at your assignments and you see that there is a little blue line here. That shows that I've started this but it's not complete quite yet. Um, and I'm able to see, and your teacher is able to see, how far you've gotten and what scores you've gotten. On this side you can look at today. You can click here and look at for the week. I guess this student wasn't doing too much compass that week. Or actually look at the whole month. You can then go to assignments and go right into your assignments to see what it was and how you did. And lastly, this tab on top named reports, you can actually print off or look at the same report that your teacher gets for you from Compass. So if you want to see how you've done over time, you can print these out as well. I'm going to X out here. Also, there's an activity finder. There might be times where a teacher gives you an activity number to go to. If you just type it right in here and press go, it will take you to that activity. That's a good overview of the student view in Compass.